Rocco is kind of doing the stuff he's been doing. He's, I think yeah. he's, he's doing his uh, AGT stuff. So let him jump right back into it. Three, All right, here we go. Two, oh, one, go! Right, that's really amazing. So both of them instantly throw their respective projectiles. Yep. For a second of the match. There's going to be a lot of this. It's going to be... Yeah. Yeah. Ripple gets those all the time. And it's just the point blank Gordo where it, it, it's guaranteed to hit you, you don't expect it to yeah. be Gordo. He's got a horseshoe up his butt. Oh wow, he's, he's not dead. Oh, the DI mix up. It was bad DI. He should have just DI'd it for the down throw because it, that's how Ripple gets people all the time. If you de, if you don't DI down and away off of that, you're guaranteed to get drops out there and it'll yeah. kill you usually. And I don't know why he DI'd that way on stage with the down throws, because yeah. he was guaranteeing a follow up or such as a grab. Okay, good wait. It was good patience. A lot of people would have panned in that situation. Wow, Ripple got that grab. I actually thought Maka was the one that did. Uh, it could be a, could be a poor issue. Too. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, because Ripple's actually got poor priority. Yeah. It's only, it's only player two, but yeah, it's player one. And you know, what I always wish to see when DDD plays, I wish that his Waddle Dew would just combo into like stuff. You know, it shoots a little laser. Yeah. I, I've had that happen to me a couple of times in front where like when the beam hits me, all Mr. Saturn get him. Now he's out of there. It blew my mind, uh, Plasma, the uh, old Lucas. school Lucas player, oh, yeah. he absorbs the Waddle Dew lasers, and I'm like, I didn't know that was a thing. You wouldn't think it is, but it makes sense because it's, it's energy yeah. based. Yeah. So it's just like, no, it shouldn't work. It does. So he's got, yeah, I don't know, I, just, I think he's going to struggle to find kills in this set, honestly. I don't really know how he's going to find a good kill off of him. Like, DDD owns the air, basically, and uh, Mako's just kind of panic jumping and kind of limiting his options. Yeah. Where uh, Ripple could just throw a Waddle Dee and, like, cut off either a landing or, you know, a scent. Yeah, I think, I think Mako's struggling a lot because he, he's not used to people being able to, like, chase him. Yeah. Uh, off stage, because he's Peach, you know, you should yeah. be able to recover uncontested. You should have to wait on stage to get you. But, you know, uh, DDD having, like, four or five jumps, not afraid to go after you. Option the Toad. Not gonna work though. Oh man. It's looking a little rough for Mako. And I don't think. It's, well, maybe this. Because he, he has limited breathing room. Actually, yeah, the stages could definitely be a big factor on this result. Because he doesn't have a lot of room to, like, run around and, like, escape. He's always stuck in a corner. Yeah. Although I feel like Peach would have the problem being the one, like, being able to approach here. So it's like, maybe you want the, like, limited room too at the same time. So it's like. I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm not really experienced enough this match, yeah. but that's going to do it for game one. That's a solid three stack. Yeah. yeah. I think that hanky panky experience really paying off for Ripple there. Man, the, the, the set of them in shu at Shuffle was just ridiculous from two years ago. It was like a solid 25 minute set. I bet. It's just constant air camping. Three, See, ups for Battlefield instead. One, More platforms, go. but honestly, about the same. The same stage size. Instant Gordo, are you Gordo. kidding me? <laughs> Ripple is such. I don't know. Is this stitch? I, it looked like a like a powerful one. It might have been stitch. Might have been stat eyes. Yeah. It did definitely didn't look like a normal one though. Yeah. See, just that fair loan covers so much like up, like ground against uh, or air I should say against Peach. Oh, he, he wasn't ready for that. Yeah, you always have to be aware of that uh, dare from DDD at yeah. the edge right there because it sends at such an awkward angle. It actually like stage spikes you a lot. Uh, yeah, he XYK with that a lot of times. XYK was not happy with himself and didn't hit by him. That was really good. You see Ripple uh, using his multiple jumps, getting that dare damage, oh, while yeah. not being able to be crouch candle with the Mako, which is definitely what he wanted. Like, it, it seems like he always, like, I've, I've played him at Tussle Town. Ah. Oh, that's an unfortunate SD. Um, I played Ripple at Tussle Town. And in bracket? Oh, yeah. Or in in, in pulls. Yeah. Uh, it, it did okay, yeah. So, uh, but uh, a lot of the time he, he would use his multiple jumps. So I try to bait out like a shield grab. Like he'd attack your shield, like pretend he's gonna like just jump into your shield. And then he'd double jump dare. Yeah. So he can pull you out of it obviously because you go for the shield grab. It's a really it's a really good mix up on his part. Mako's got a lot of ground to cover here. And I think a lot of people would agree with this is that Ripple is very good when he has a lead. Oh absolutely. One of the best players possibly. Especially the way this character is designed, yeah. the plus his play style, it fits he, perfectly. He's that was just, good air dodge. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, DDD is a pretty good character for like, even in the crew battle. Like, in the crew battle, did you hear what he did? Huh? In, in the crew battle, yeah. did you hear what he did? Took seven stocks. Pretty good character for a crew battle. But yeah, so that's... Survivability plus like just design style, just is really good for battles, and just keeping a lead.
quickly and expanding on it. This is looking a little rough for Mako, unfortunately. The up, the up smash tone in like 120. Just don't get forced out. Oh, oh, he wanted it. He went for a sneaky Ruby going for the grind. Worst player ever. Sneaky beer move. Thinks he's Mako Light. Like, not though. Never will be. Booty, booty bump back there. Yeah. Mako's too good. Yeah, I don't know. Mako's just. It's just like he, he's too far behind at this point. Oh, oh you see, he, he went, went for the, the roll. Yeah, he went for the roll. Run. Guts to call. He actually, Ripple said he hates Jet Hammer. That yeah, doesn't seem like a very good move. It, it's like the scrub killer, though. Yeah. It's like, it's like Bowser F Smash, where it's like, how do I get hit by this move? How do I like, beat it? And then it's like, you can beat it. You know, if you just, just, just run a hitbox. Do you know that apparently when he charges it, like he takes damage, he stops taking damage at only 20%. And he just hold it infinitely until he, he lets it go or someone gets an item. That's pretty yeah. stupid. Oh, he misses the edge right now. Damn Gordos. Rough.